Mongam Janita has passed her matriculation board exams with first class and distinction in three subjects. She has been living in this government school turned shelter for displaced people in Imphal. Janita's parents are still in their village at the border of Kankopi district, which has seen large-scale violence. Janita is being felicitated by the local women who are helping run the relief camp. She breaks down remembering her parents. For over one and a half months, schools in Manipur are closed. Education has taken a major hit. While violence still has not stopped totally, in most parts, curfew has been relaxed during the day. Manipur High Court has directed the state government to provide limited internet services to the public in some designated places under their control. As the first move towards restoring normalcy, the state government plans to resume normal classes up to 8th standard for all schools from July 1. It had earlier said that schools will reopen from June 21. There will be gradual reopening of higher classes and colleges. Going to open the schools up to class 8. We cannot have the education and have due to this prevailing situation. We have to give priority on education than have. So I think it is my earnest appeal and the request to the, all, the, all the people. In Manipur, there are over 4,600 schools, of which 100 have been turned into relief camps or housing central forces. The challenges for the government and the students are multiple, more so in the hills and remote rural areas, devastated by violence. My education career were ruined. Uh, I think I, I can't complete my study again. I don't think I can complete, I can complete my study again. My, ho my house was burned and my books are also burned. So now I, my future are very dark and now I don't know when can I be able to study again. According to the Manipur Education Department sources, no, no. the government plans to provide education for the internally displaced students staying in relief centers within the district. Study materials like notebooks, pens, pencils, sports materials and uniform would be provided to the displaced students by the government. Volunteer teachers would be deputed for the students staying in the relief camps to organize coaching classes. The transfer of displaced students studying in class 9 to 12 to schools of their choice would be allowed provided seats are available. Some of the schools in Imphal have already started giving out admission forms. There is already a beeline of parents signaling that reopening of schools might just be a turning point towards bringing normalcy back to the violence hit state. With BM Sanjay Nimphal in Guwahati, Ratnadeep Chaudhary, Pandi TV.